Hey guys, it's Craig at Area 419, taking a moment to talk to you about the installation of a Hellfire suppressor mount into the rear of your suppressor. Now I'm gonna do this demo on a Silencer Co. Scythe. Cool new can from them, if you haven't had a shot, check it out, we like it. The process is virtually the same whether you're putting it in an Omega or a Saker or a 36M or a Thunder Beast Ultra. We have at area419.com a listing on the product page for suppressor mounts of all the different things that we can adapt to and we'll link the product below here. So I've got this suppressor as it comes from Silencer Co. It's got a direct thread rear cap in it. I'm gonna remove that rear cap using their provided tool and go ahead and spin it all the way out. Then I'm simply going to replace that rear cap with a Hellfire suppressor mount. If you've got like a Thunder Beast Ultra in the CB mount configuration, you don't have to take anything out of the back of it. Rather, you're gonna start with our suppressor mount and thread it into the back. So here, I'm gonna go ahead and thread that in. If you wanna use Loctite or Rock Set or something, match it to your application. If you're in a lower temp configuration, let's say you're just gonna take this suppressor and use it on a hunting gun, or you're gonna use it in PRS, a little blue Loctite, or maybe even just a little anti seize will get that job done for you. If you're wanting to run higher and higher temperatures on let's say a carbine and you wanna use some rock set, go ahead, just understand that if you're using something like rock set, you need to know how to, how to break it loose if you need to. I'm gonna take my wrench that came with the suppressor mount and I'm gonna to torque. If you want a specific torque value, please refer to your suppressor manu manufacturer instructions for how much torque they want in the rear of the suppressor. Now, this is torqued down and to attach to my rifle, all I need to do is have a Hellfire Universal Adapter that is obviously the correct thread for the muzzle. I'm gonna thread that on, torque it to 25 pounds. And now, to put the suppressor on, the Hellfire system is lefty tidy here, it's reverse thread. I'm gonna go ahead and get it to snug. If you're just shooting on a bolt gun, you can take this, snug it by hand, you're gonna be fine. If you feel like you need to go tighter, you can use your wrench here, but again, don't get goofy. No reason to get Hulk hands. The real reason though, we like having this cut out in this wrench is if you shoot a lot and you start to get maybe some carbon buildup or some heat cycling and this gets pretty tight, you can use that wrench and you can pop it loose as well. But remember, it's left-hand thread. So righty loosey on these. This is a simple system that adds a lot of versatility to a lot of your suppressors and a lot of your rifles. You wanna be able to swap things back and forth. This is a heck of a good way to do it. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comments below, but until next time.